Do you have any idea how hard it is to find good lighting in my room? Put my camera up there. It's gonna fall. Okay, so basically what we're gonna talk about today is bullying. And I know I was supposed to do it last week, but I didn't. And so now I'm doing it now. So I'm gonna be taking a very different route for talking about bullying right now. Um, I know bullying is more like somebody is hurting you physically, emotionally, mentally, any one of those. Um, but, and they're making your life, basically, they're making your life hell. I'm not gonna talk about trying to deal with it. Uh, instead, I'm going to talk about how you can move past that. And that all starts with having confidence in yourself. And I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm trying to think. So basically what we're going to talk about is how to love yourself even if you're getting bullied and somebody's trying to degrade you. We're going to talk about how somebody makes fun of you because you are gay. Somebody makes fun of you because of your gender. Somebody makes fun of you because of the things you wear. Somebody makes fun of you because you weigh a certain amount. Somebody makes fun of you because, I don't know, your hair looks... You were having a bad hair day. I don't know. You had something different about you that day, or you have something different about you still to this day. How to love yourself always comes first. You know, it's self-confidence. It's having confidence in yourself, having a high self-esteem, and knowing that you're the most fabulous human being that's out there. And not letting anyone tell you any different. So that all starts with knowing and believing in yourself that you know that you are a great person and screw what anybody else says because you are amazing and no one else knows how great you are. And I think that if you find that group, if you have, okay, if you have a group of friends or a group of anybody on Tumblr, on the internet, um, in real life, but like, I don't know who has friends in real life, am I right? Um, but if you have that group, it makes it so much easier to love yourself because they make you feel like you're the most special person ever and it's such a great thing to have, to have friends, to just have that group of people that will make you feel absolutely 100% great about yourself, even through the bad days, even if there's people trying to bully you. So really what you should be doing right now is make a list. Make a list of things that you love about yourself. Make a list of things that you think are flaws. And I say flaws because we're all flawed human beings. You know, think of it like we were born with these flaws. We didn't develop them over time. We were all born flawed human beings and we were all born not perfect, nobody's perfect, and I'm trying to say that without singing the song, but nobody's perfect. It's, it's something that lots of people in society think that, oh yeah, you can be absolutely 100% like a standard. Society has standards. They think that you need to be this, that, and this, and it's not true. You don't have to be that. You can be whatever you want to be, and that all starts with having confidence in yourself, loving yourself, and screw what anybody else says. So, even if society puts that much, that much pressure on you, you do not have to go to society standards. standards. It's not something that's important, and it shouldn't be something that's so important in this day and age. You know, everyone is bathing in the sense that you have to be perfect, you have to be this, and like, it's not true. And I think I'm kind of done with everyone, you know, and I'm, t I'm saying this from personal experience when I say that a lot of people that I know are just drowning in the sense that, you know, you have to be that perfect be uh, human being, but it's not true. And, and I think it's, it's a kind of horrible thing. 
even though I want to think that everything is okay in society, I know that it isn't. And I know that we have a lot more to fix. But that all starts with everyone coming together and saying screw everyone's standards, saying screw the people that don't like you, saying screw you to the people that think that you're anything less than amazing. Think that you're anything less than perfect, because you are perfect. And I'm not saying, you know, perfect in the sense that you are that absolutely 100% not flawed human being. Everyone, I'm saying you are perfect in the sense that if you are you, you are perfect. If you have problems, you are perfect. If you have any type of anything, if you are you, that's all that matters. You are still perfect. And that's, I think, what, that is what I think society should be looking for, is people that can be themselves, not give a damn about what anybody else says. Those are the pe perfect human beings. Like, who cares about what you look like? Who cares about your appearance? As long as you're you, you are happy with yourself at the end of the day. That is all that matters. That is what society should be looking for. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just ranting on. I think people should start recognizing that society is kind of like a bully. Since society is making you think that you are something less than perfect. And I'm not saying society as in people like around you because a lot of people around you are so supportive of that and being yourself stuff but I'm saying what media portrays people to be people should be seeing something different than that people are having a false image in their head of what should be perfect and what shouldn't be and that all comes with what I was saying before loving yourself having people that love you like accepting yourself for who you are, and I think that is what we need to do. Okay, so basically I'm gonna wrap up this video now, and I just wanted to say that what I was saying through this entire video means that, like, what I've been trying to say through this entire video, whether or not I got this point across, it, across is that if somebody is bullying you, if somebody is saying that you are less than amazing, screw them. You are perfect. You have people that love you, love yourself, accept yourself for who you are, and, you know, screw anyone that doesn't like that. That's basically the point I was trying to get across. And when I say bullies, I mean media. I mean the people around you that are being bullies. And so, yeah. That's basically the point I wanted to get across, and I hope I got this point across. I'm sorry if I sound like a whiny ass chipmunk the entire video. That that topic just gets me. I don't like that topic because so many people have different standards, and I think it's stupid. I think it's real stupid. So, yeah, basically that's what I've been trying to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of this video. And I hope that by the end of the day, you are happy and content and you think you are perfect. Because you are. And I hope you believe that. And I hope you accept that you are. So yeah. I guess I shall be going now. Once again, I apologize for sounding like, a, if I sounded like I was ranting, I, I do that when I get emotional. So yeah, uh, as always, links are in the description. Oh. Uh, <laughs> as always, links are in the description. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, oh, whoops, you texted me.